Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I'm going to show you the proof of the Pythagoras theorem. Uh, the prerequisite knowledge for understanding the proof is that you should know how to find the area of rectangles and triangles and you should also know how to simplify terms in algebra and expand terms in algebra. So if you think you're okay with that, then let's continue. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a square. Make sure for your square all four sides are the same length and all four corners are right angles. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to split up each side into two smaller parts. Uh, I want a longer part and a shorter part on each side. So I'm going to call the longer part part A and the shorter part part B and I'm going to split it using exact same uh, A's and B's on every side. So all the A's are the same length and all the B's are the same length. So make sure you do that now. Okay, so each side in this square is split up into A and B. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide up the area inside this square using the boundaries of A and B so that I have I've created four smaller sections inside this square and I have basically two squares which are here and here and two rectangles which are here and here. So make sure you do that now. Okay, now let's look at equations for finding the area of this square. So area of a square is side times side so if we look at the area of this whole square, each side has the uh, length A plus the length B. Right? A plus B is the length of one of the sides. So therefore the area of this whole square is A equals A plus B times a plus b. Side times side is a plus b times a plus b which is a plus b squared. Now let's look at the area of each of the smaller sections. Alright, so if we look at this smaller section here, this is basically a square with side a. So the area of this section is a area equals a times a which is a squared. Area of this section is a times b, right, length times width for a rectangle and then area of this section is a times b again. Area of this section is b times b which is b squared. So now we're going to look at the area of this whole square based on these four expressions by adding these four expressions together we can also say the area is equal to a squared plus b squared right a squared plus b squared plus a b plus a b which is if you simplify it it becomes 2ab Alright, so that is the area of this whole square. All right, and you can see here I have pretty much just given you a graphical illustration of the formula a plus b squared equals a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Okay, which is pretty cool. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this square and I'm now going to create a longer side which we're going to call side C. 
I've rubbed out the writing on the inside so we can get a clearer picture of what I'm trying to do. So what I'm doing is I'm going to join up the lines A and B and I'm going to draw a third side which is side C and what I'm doing is I'm creating a right angle triangle with two shorter sides A and B and the longest side, side C. Okay, so I'm going to do that over here and I'm going to do that over here as well. Right, so what I have done is I have created four right angle triangles. I have a right angle triangle over here, another right angle triangle over here, another right angle triangle here, and another right angle triangle here. So I have four right angle triangles where A and B are the two shorter sides and C is the longest side. All right, so I have four right angle triangles. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these triangles off and I'm going to paste it again in the same square with a different arrangement. So you can see here it's an empty square of the same size and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step by step paste each triangle in. So the first triangle I'm going to paste it over here and this is triangle number one so this is side uh, B, A and C. Right, two shorter sides A and B and side number C. So this is my first right angle triangle. I'm pasting this from here, cutting it out and putting it here. And then I'm going to do the same with side length, sorry, with triangle B, sorry, triangle number two. I'm going to cut and paste it on the right hand side. So this is triangle number two and I have the longest side is C, the shorter sides A and B. And then I'm going to do the same, cut triangle three, paste it on the right on the square. So this is triangle three, side C. And then I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to paste triangle number four over here with side C. And you can see what we have ended up is a big square in the middle where the length of each side is C. So now what we're going to do is we're going to express the area of this whole square now using the new arrangement that we have. So the area of the whole square, so this whole square, what is the area? The area is now the area of four triangles plus an area of square. All right, we have a big square in the middle and the four triangles. So what is the area of each triangle? Well, area of a triangle is base times perpendicular height divided by two. So the area of each triangle is a, uh, B times A or A times B, same thing, divided by two. That's the area of one triangle. But since there are four triangles, I'm going to times this by four plus the area of the square in the middle. Since the square has a side length of C, the area is just C squared. So uh, if I expand this out, then I will get B times A times four divided by two, which is two AB plus C squared. Now let's compare the two expressions for the area of the uh, square. The first one we got was a plus b squared equals uh, a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So we have a plus b squared equals a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now in this same size square, I also have the formula 2ab 
plus c squared. So what does that mean? If a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, and it is also equal to 2ab plus c squared, then that means these two expressions must be equal. So a squared plus b squared equals 2ab, uh, sorry, plus 2ab is equal to 2ab plus c squared. Now using uh, a simple uh, method of balancing equations, I can minus 2ab on both sides, minus 2ab on both sides. So 2ab, 2ab, 2ab minus 2ab is 0, 2ab minus 2ab is 0. I am left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hope you understand the proof. See you next time.